Hey, 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 what's good, good people? I am Travail C.W. Lynch, Mr. What What, your self-worth specialist. And now I'm taking on an even newer identity. That's right. We are evolving. I am also your personal perspective coach. That's right. Coaching from the couch, coach on the couch couch coaching however you want to do it right but i'm just excited man because there is no limits to whatever it is that you want to create whatever it is that you want to evolve into and to be and to express yourself as i want to be an image of the possibilities guys and so i'm taking off the lid man i'm taking off all limitations i'm being everything that god has created me to be i'm being everything that i just i just feel and know in the bottom and the depth of my heart that i can be for you so guys listen (laughs) i know that was a long introduction but welcome welcome once again into the i am the possible podcast experience yes the place where what possibilities become perspective and for this entire month guys and i told you last time i told you on wednesday i may parlay this i may move this all the way into 2022 but i am telling you right here and right now i am here to serve you in a new and profound way there is just something burning on the inside of me when it comes to entrepreneurs when it comes to businessmen and women when it comes to people of faith with dreams and hopes and desires and so i want to really drill down and let you know that i am showing up for you week after week all this month long and I may parlay it all the way into 2022, I am here to help you to overmatch what's been undermining your success. Does that sound exciting? Does 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 that get the juices flowing, right? Because some of you out there, you guys have dreams, man. You got hopes, you got visions, man. You got businesses all inside of you, man. You got things that are just brewing. And I see so many stumbling blocks, man. So many, so many people stumbling, right? Even as the camera is moving here, <laughs> as I'm recording, right? That that was truly a visual. I didn't plan that. Okay. For, for those of you who are watching on the tube. I didn't plan what just happened, okay? But the camera moved a little bit and shook just as I was saying that, you know, I've been just observing a lot of people with hopes and dreams and visions, um, businesses and ministries in their heart, in me heart, right? In me corazón. Uh, and, but um, it, it, it they, they, you know, they're, they're struggling with bringing it to life. They're struggling with consistency. They're struggling with bringing it to pass. And I just want to partner with you um because if you're that person right i want to partner with you man i want to uh share some things that i've picked up along the way i want to share my experiences my expertise i want to share man um the things that i've learned the life lessons that i've learned that's going to help you get over the hump um this month right but also all of 2022 I don't know if you're into new year resolutions. I don't know if you're into goal setting, uh, but if there's just something inside of you and you just, you just want to win, man, you just want it to happen. You just want it to come out of your heart into, you know, life, right? Let's, let's say from the heart to the happening, right? Take it from your heart to it actually happening. And if that's you, then I'm, I'm here to serve you. Okay. Um, Now, Again, long intro, but let me listen. I can't continue on. I cannot get into the content for today without saying that you are my reason. You're my cause, right? We have to pause for the cause, right? You're my cause. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the text messages. Thank you for mentioning me in a post. Thank you for sharing uh, on social media. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the questions that you ask. Thank you. Thank you um, for the encouragements that you send. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Because, 
your presence, as you guys know, your presence is the greatest present that you could ever give me. So thank you so much for showing up um, and listening and downloading and subscribing and sharing um, because things have been growing. Right. And so I know that it's happening. I know that it's happening because I can track it. Right. It's called analytics. Right. I can see it happening. And so I'm so excited about our growth. I'm so excited about our expansion. I've got some great things that I'm working on coming up uh, for later on this month and for the new year. The university, the doors are opening soon. It's just uh, it's just an exciting time in the I am the possible universe. And I'm just so glad that you're here uh, with me. Um, and I also want to share a quick win. I got an email yesterday. Uh, you guys know I've been podcasting for a couple of months now. Um, and uh, the 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 uh, platform that I I utilize um, to upload all of my episodes, um, they sent me an email yesterday. The I am the possible podcast experience, guys. Come on, celebrate with me wherever you are. Come on, put your hands together. Right, guys, listen. They said that um, I had over a thousand downloads. That's that's a win, right? That is a win. Um, I had received an email about a month or so ago where it shared that I had hit 500, um, but I didn't share that that little benchmark. But yeah, man, yesterday got the email, 1,000 downloads. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome uh, to even think that someone's listened to you a thousand times or that just a thousand pieces of your content in whatever form is just floating around in the universe. Uh, that's just an amazing thing. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. It's pretty cool. Um, and you know, obviously, you know, you know, as soon as you get a thousand, right, you're already talking about 10,000, 10,000, you're already talking about a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand, you're already talking about a million. Yes. I'm, I'm that guy. I, I, yeah. Yep. But I also want to celebrate the small wins. I also want to pause and say, wow, cool. We're on the right track. Cool. We're getting some traction. We're doing some things, right? Um, so yeah, man, I'm I'm pretty excited about that and just wanted to share that win with you all because you made it possible. You are making that possible. You made that that possible. So thank you so so much. All right, guys, let's get into it all month long, all December long. We're talking about success in its various forms. And really, again, I really want to focus on helping by sharing, by exposing, okay, um, the things that are really undermining your success, exposing them, and then educating or edifying and empowering you with some tools that are going to help you to overmatch those things, okay? Overmatching what's been undermining your success. The reason I chose overmatch is because that's a military term, okay? That's a military term that represents when you when you're an army or a military group and you go to war with another, right, military group from another country or whatnot, um they have a, a specific strategy called overmatching. And so the military wants to overwhelm the other um, military group with strategic strategy, strategic plans, right, of attack. And so I just really want to hook you up, man, with some strategic attacks. We're not just going to run into this blindly, right? You are trying to, I don't know if you like me, right? Back in the day, we played a, a game called Capture the Flag, right? You you would have a flag somewhere, usually elevated somewhere up on like a hill or mountain somewhere. And there would be enemy troops, right? On various layers or levels, I should say, on like a hilltop, right? And then you would start at the bottom and you would have to run up the hill, and you would have to get to the flag without them pushing you back down or tackling you or wrestling you to the ground. And so that took strategy. You don't just blindly start running up the mountain, right? Because they've planned out their strategy. They know where they're going to be positioned. And, um, you know, if you're not strategic in your approach, uh, then they're going to win every time. And so I just look at you and I look at us, right? I'm in the same boat. Um, in terms of, you know, securing our success, um, it's important that we be strategic, right, in getting to that and getting to that flag. So 
Uh, hope that that makes sense. No, that was a super long intro. I think I'll put it in the show notes um, that if they want to get straight to the content, then they, they can go to about 10 minutes and about 15 seconds. All right. Because that's where we're at right now. All right, guys, I am going to go ahead and jump into today's strategies, today's topic, today's sharing. OK, um, this one, this one is titled. Check this out, guys. Let me hear. Let me move my little logo here. This one is called You Are Bam. That's right. You're too stimulated to succeed. <laughs> the title of today's message, broadcast, podcast experience. It's that, you know, you, you, you're just too stimulated to succeed. I don't know if you've ever thought about this. I don't know if you've ever considered the fact that you're stimulated. In fact, you can actually be too stimulated to succeed. And I want to I want to share why and how this all works. But before we do, guys, come on, let's 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 break it down. Right. Let's 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 be 100 with what we're doing here. Right. If you're watching on the tube, you see my slides and you you, you get it. OK. But if you're just listening the greatest form of self-development is self-discovery. That's my flagship. That's my, hey, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. The greatest form of self-development is self-discovery, discovery, right? The reason I chose that, 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 that slogan, right, and that, and that, uh, that philosophy is because the word discover is made up of two words, dis and cover. Disc meaning to remove right this meaning to cut away or separate and cover is to hide right or to conceal and so for many times we are not successful in our capturing of the flag right getting to our success because there's things about us that we don't understand things that we don't know about ourselves we just don't know how we work and we don't know how to work ourselves right towards success. I heard this uh, quote a couple of months ago. Um, you know, when you know how something works, right, you're 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 able to better. And see, I'm I'm totally butchering it, but it it basically said when you know how something works, you're better. You you're able to better leverage it, right? You're 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 able to better utilize it. OK, when you know how it works. And so in essence, this is really saying, guys, you have to learn how you work in order to be successful. OK, um, you are about to discover something about yourself that will transform the image you have of yourself. That's right. If you transform the image that you have of yourself, you transform the ideas, right, that you have about what's possible for you. Right. If you have a stinking thinking mentality and approach about you, a limiting approach, a limiting idea about yourself, then you're already out the gate sabotaging, sabotaging your success. Right. Because you don't really believe that you can do it. You don't really believe that it's possible for you. So we are about to discover something about ourselves. In fact, each week you're going to discover something new about yourself that's going to help you to move forward on your journey of success. All right, guys, let's confess what we want to create. You know how we do it around here, right? Confessions, guys, our words create worlds. If this is your first time listening, we believe that words create worlds. We are all on one earth, but there are infinite worlds because worlds represent the internal mindset, perspectives, perceptions, and frameworks. It is the classic glass. Is it half empty? Is it half full, right? Which one is it? It's whichever one you choose because it's your world, okay? And your world is framed just like our great creator, capital C creator, God, how he spoke the world into existence, we can speak our world, a.k.a. reality, into existence. OK, we, we, we've got that same power and authority in our tongue. So let's confess it. All right. I am about to be empowered. 
That's right. Get ready to be empowered. I'm going to expose some things and then empower you. OK, so I'm about to be empowered to express myself in new and powerful ways. All right. Make that your confession. Confess what you want to create. All right. You can do that with, with just about anything. Right. Anything that you want to uh, create, you can confess it. All right, guys, here it is. So this all began, right? You know, I love to observe life. A lot of my inspiration just comes through me observing life. And here I'm going to change up the look and feel. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. Hope you guys can still see it. If not, then I'll put it on the other side. I think I can just, yeah, let's just leave it like that for now. Uh, let me go back. All right, cool. Hopefully you can see that. If not, I'll, I'll uh, enlarge it pre periodically. Here, let me do it like that. Let, let's just stick to that all right for a little while all right anyway <laughs> um so we had a day at the gym day at the gym guys the, the other day i'm at the gym and i get a lot of my inspiration for episodes and for content uh by just observing people observing life right you guys know know i wrote my new book what is enough by just observing other people right and just really tuning in to uh, my surroundings and and really seeing what people need and so the other day man i'm at the gym doing my thing i'm on the treadmill and it hits me man i don't know why well yeah i do know why i know exactly why it's because i was meant to share this with you that's why um but i just started to notice all the stimulants stimuli stimulation stimulating <laughs> that was going on i mean look at this list uh number one they got tvs all over the place right and then, listen guys this is not negative or positive this this is just my observations got tvs all over the place on different channels that means your eyes and your mind is looking at all these various tvs and various channels trying to decide which one do i want to watch or look at blah 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 but they got tvs everywhere with different channels now the tvs are cut down so you can see the image so you're being stimulated through your eyes but then guess what? Over the overall sound system, they got music playing. Right? You got music playing. So now your ears are perked up. And, you know, if you don't have on headphones, some people do. Well, most people have on headphones. But even if you pause a song or, you know, take them off for a moment, you're listening to the music that's playing within the gym. You got people that are interacting. You got people that's talking. They just kind of walking in, walking out, you know, holding conversations, saying what's up, what's going on with their homies, right? So you got people interaction. You got cell phones in every hand, right? People walking around, looking on cell phones, you know, doing whatever that they're doing with their phones. You got headsets, headphones in every ear. So you got stuff going on. We don't know what you're watching, YouTube videos or fitness stuff, I, you know. Who knows right but my point is is look at what's look at what's going on right in this one space look at what's going on um and then distractions right i'm gonna just keep it 100 guys right you got lust right you got guys looking at girls you got girls looking at guys um you know you got that thing going on now you got comparisons going on right uh you know this guy's more ripped than me his muscles are bigger than mine oh i'm getting old and how come you know all this is going on, guys, and I could probably list probably three or four more things, but you guys get my point. It's all of this stimulation going on, man. Now, this is going to be a microcosm. I'm going to use this just for the world, okay? Because, again, you're too stimulated to succeed. You're too stimulated to be successful, and I'm going to break it down as to why I say that. But I just wanted you to see just do that quick observation you know that you go to the gym to work out to break a sweat to exercise the physical body to train the physical body i'm not saying that you don't and i'm not saying that it's not possible what i'm saying is <laughs> is that you have to fight through all of these stimuli to just work out Think about that. Now I'm gonna be 100. I'm gonna I'm share my junk. Okay, I'm I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put it on nobody else. I'm gonna share my junk. I'm a I'm a gym rat. I love it. I go six days a week, seven if I can, right? And, um, you know, 
as of late, getting in there and staying focused on just the task at hand has been easier because I have a success in mind, right? My wife and I were training for this half marathon in Vegas in a couple of months. And so I've got this success, this goal in mind. But when I didn't have that goal in mind and it was just fitness in general, dude, I would spend moments walking by the TVs and my my favorite sports show is on and they're talking about my Cowboys. Or, you know, when I'm walking to the back, going to the sauna, you know, I'm I'm listening to the music that's, you know, playing over the, you know, sound system. When I see my homies, right, when I see all of my buddies that that come to the gym, you know, Brian and, you know, you know, Preston and whatnot, I'm I'm saying what's up to them. I'm going by, hey, man, how's the fam? How's the kids? What's going on? What's good with you? How you feeling? I mean, I'm killing a gang of time, guys. I'm just being 100 with mine. I went there to train. I went there to exercise. But I'm listening to the music. I'm looking at the TVs. I'm catching up on the Cowboys. I'm messing I'm messing around with my phone. I'm watching YouTube videos, trying to trying to learn something new every day, but you know, still trying to stay focused on the exercising. I mean, you know, I'm putting in one pair of headphones because uh, when I'm running on the treadmill, they're cordless, so I want to use those. But then when it's time to go to the sauna, I don't want to put my expensive headphones in the sauna, so I take those out and put in my other headphone. You you guys get my point? By the time I do all of that. My exercise was crap. I've wasted so much time, lost so much time. Excuse me. And my body did not get much of a workout. I'm going to just keep it real, man. Now, that's been my story as of late, right? Now, again, now I'm training. Now, right now, because I have a goal in mind and I'm and I'm observing these different things. It's like, ah, okay, I can't let these things distract me. I can't spend a lot of time with my buddies. I can't be listening to the music. I can't be tied up, you know, with the TVs. I've got to get in there, know exactly, excuse me, know exactly what it is that I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm going to do it, and get right, right to it. All right? I hope that makes sense, guys. So that was my day in the gym, man. And that's what sparked this whole idea because I'm thinking, you know, many of us are trying to be successful and we're stimulated we're looking at all the things going on in the world now how do i translate this right how do we translate my day in the gym to your success and to real life well are you always keeping up with the trends right catching the latest wave right i got it on the screen right keeping up with the joneses right what's the latest trend in business what's the latest trend in my industry Right. In my field. Right. Are you trying to always keep up with that? Right. Are you try- always trying to catch the next wave? Right. What's the newest technology? What's the newest thing that's going to come? You know, OK, OK, OK. Right. And we're frantic and we're over here and we're over there. Right. Or are you are you one that's caught up on just doing what's popular? Well, um, you know, uh, you know, last month, um, the iPhone, whatever came out this month. And I'm going to just be I'm going to just I'm going to just tell on myself, guys. I got the iPhone 13. Yeah. Didn't have the 12, but like a blink. Like, I think I had that 12 less than a year. They came out with that 13. They told me it was going to have all these other, you know, features for the phone, um, for the recording. Oh, I said, I'm on that thing. Right. Listen, see, I'm a victim too. I ain't going to see. I ain't going to share nothing with y'all that I ain't going through myself. I no, 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 no. I'm not the guru trying to tell you and and then I'm living up on my little holy mountain. No, man, I'm just as jacked up as anybody else is. Right. So I'm going to come clean with mine. Are you doing what's popular? See how that can get you all over the place. I just got the 12. Ain't barely opened the box. And here they come with the 13. And I'm like, babe, I need to upgrade. I don't need to upgrade. I didn't need to upgrade, but I did because I was keeping up with what's popular. So how does this play out in your life? Right. Ask yourself that question. How does this play out in my life? What am I always trying to keep up with? What am I always trying to do? What am I always trying to stay up on instead of working towards your goal? I'm going to let the cat out the bag. The bottom line, the summary to everything else that I'm going to share is that strategically, capturing the flag right strategically right we need to be about 
um, you know, our success, the goal, the finish line. But the world, just like in the gym, is so full of stimuli, things that catch our attention, things that distract us, things that get us all over the place, things that get us thinking and spending time and investing time and investing energy and investing thoughts, investing money, investing our emotions in trying to keep up with the next blank. That many times we're so scattered brain, we're so stimulated that we can't just stay focused on one path. Check this out, guys. By definition, to be stimulated means to excite to activity or growth or to greater activity, to animate and to arouse. Now, you may say to yourself, yeah, I want to be motivated. I want to be inspired. I want to be on my grind. I want to be about mine. Mm. Yes. Yet consider this. And I'll give you an analogy. When I'm here, when I'm training guys for these half marathons or when I'm just working out in general, you ever heard of something called a pre-workout, right? You ever hear you you ever heard of something called a pre-workout? Maybe it's hydroxy cut. Maybe it's, you know, that's one of the big popular ones, right? But they got all types of pre-workout. They're full of caffeine, various other ingredients, and they get you jacked up, right? If you've ever been in the gym working out on some of this stuff, you get that feeling like the little pins sticking you right and your and your skin right right feels all tingly and you're and you're really motivated right you're really like like you are on 10 well you know when you read those bottles whether it's pills or whether it's a powder they tell you if you're just starting off on this stuff use just a little bit and figure out your tolerance well i have a high tolerance so some of this stuff doesn't really get me as much maybe as it might get my wife or someone else However, there's been times where I've taken and I actually got some steel in the shelf right now that I have not used stuff so powerful, get you so jacked that you go to the gym with a plan. OK, I'm just telling my story today. You go to the gym with a plan and that stuff got you so jacked up. You can't focus. You can't you can't get through a sudden rep. You got to go run or just move around frantically like this stuff is like you feel like your head is about to explode because, see, you just needed a little motivation, a little inspiration, a little incentive. But you took such a large dose of this stuff. Right. I'm just drawing the analogies. I took so much of this stuff. Now it now I, I'm, I'm so jacked up. I'm so stimulated that I can't even do the workout now it just took me way over the top and now i just feel like total trash because now i can't even focus I, I can't do nothing right well how does that work in this place right or in this example guys you might be on the path to let's say starting your own podcast let's just say let's take this for example you want to become a podcaster that's your success that's your new thing that you want to do right well you go on youtube how many videos do you think they have on podcasting? Mm, millions. Mm -hmm. Millions. If not millions, hundreds of thousands. Okay, I don't want to exaggerate. If you Google starting a podcast, how many search results do you think you're going to find? <laughs> hundreds of thousands. You get my point? You may be in that place right now in your life where you are so stimulated with information, right? Right? Just information overload. It's too many options, too many things, right? What's the latest greatest? What's the best way? How do I how do I do it? How do I succeed? How do I expand? How do I grow? It's so much coming at you that now you're like paralyzed, right? Paralysis by analysis, right? Now you started off motivated. Yeah, I'm going to start my new podcast. Yeah, I'm going to start my new business. Yeah, I'm going to do my. And by the time you start researching it and finding out what's popular, what's trendy, what's the new thing, 
right? How to how to how to how to capture your target audience. By the time you get to your to your trying to do everything, now you're overwhelmed, you're overstimulated, and now you're like stuck in a uh, a permanent stimulated state, <laughs> right? So I get it, I get it, guys. Let's look at these Bible passages. It's time to help you out. It's time to give you the solution. Because that's the problem. We're overstimulated. Too much going on. Our head's spinning, right? We don't know what to do next first. And we don't know which way to go. And we're just like, man, I don't know where to start. Too much, too many options. All right, check this out, guys. We're reading here from Luke chapter 10. Mary and Martha. It says, while Jesus and his followers were traveling, Jesus went into a town and a, a woman named Martha let Jesus stay at her house. Martha had a sister named Mary. Here's the verse who was sitting at Jesus's feet and listening to him. Mm -hmm. But Martha was busy. Ah, She was busy with all the work to be done. She went in and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me alone to do all the work? Let her or tell her to help me. But check out, check out what Jesus did. Jesus said, nah, I ain't going to do that. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried. I'm going to put in, you stimulated, you overstimulated, and you're, and you're upset about many things only one thing is important mary has chosen the better thing and it will not be taken away from her now let me disclaimer alert i'm not giving you context this ain't no bible study i'm not about to break it all down and yeah here's my point martha was busy stimulated moving all around frantic she got so frantic she like yo jesus come on man martha i mean mary's sitting here chilling would you tell her to get up and help me hustle would you get up and you know tell her help me grind i mean would you get up and help tell her help me go get it right we put it into our language right we are here trying to hustle baby we are here trying to get it and we're frantic and we're all over the place and we're overstimulated and we can't slow down. We can't focus. We can't get our thoughts together. We can't be strategic about capturing our flag. And Jesus is like, nah, I ain't going to take that from her. She's doing the best thing. What is that best thing? What do you think it is? She's sitting. She's listening. Yeah. Guys, if we are going to be successful, if we're going to be successful, we're going to need to sit and we're going to need to listen. And I'm going to share with you in just a moment why that matters and what we should be sitting and listening to. But this is very important. If you want to be successful, your success requires sitting. Your success requires silence. And your request, your success requires stillness, not only of your physical body, but all of your internal faculties. If you're going to be highly successful, you follow any successful person, you read their bio, you read their background, you have an interview with them at some point in time, at some point in time, they got quiet. They dedicated themselves to listening. They dedicated themselves to quieting the noise. They dedicated themselves to going inward and feeling and hearing and sensing and knowing something about themselves before they move forward. All right. Hope that makes sense, guys. All right. I have another scripture. Check this out, guys. Coming from Psalms. The Psalms, chapter one, happy are those who do not or who don't listen to the wicked, who don't go where sinners go, who don't do what evil people do. 
They love the Lord's teaching and they think about, uh huh, aka meditate. Ah, uh huh, stillness, sitting, silence, right? They meditate on those teachings day and night. They are strong. These are the, the these people that that do this, they are strong, like a tree planted by a river. The tree produces fruit in season and its leaf does not die and its leaves don't die. Everything they do will succeed. Oh, my goodness. Are, are you one that wants to succeed? Are you one that wants to succeed at whatever you do? Well, this is telling you right here, right now. If you get quiet, if you get about the Lord's business, if you learn how to silence yourself, if you learn how to sit down somewhere, if you learn how to not take the pill, right? That pre-workout, if you know, if you know how not to take the stimuli, if you know how to not watch the television or listen to the radio or listen to the news or listen to your homies or listen to this or listen to that, if you learn how to block out the noise, if you learn how to clear the clutter, if you learn how to sit your butt down somewhere and get a strategy together and execute on that strategy, ah, everything you do will work. Oh yeah, here we go. What's the problem? You're overly occupied. That's what I call it. Overly occupied. Your mind is so occupied with so many different things that it's hard for you to execute on that one great idea. You're overstimulated. You're wasting a lot of time. I won't go on a tangent, but one hour is extremely powerful. And I'm having to constantly, constantly be reminded of this in my own life. I can accomplish so much in one hour if it's quiet, I'm dialed in, and I, 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 I move with a conviction from within. When my hour, you, you you listen, you give me that same hour and I don't have a plan. I don't have a strategy. I'm not coming from within. I'm researching other people's stuff. I'm looking at what's popular. I'm I'm looking at what what's the newest thing. I'm I'm researching YouTube. I'm looking in the dictionary. I'm looking over here. I'm reading this article. I'm reading this book. I'm getting this free download by the guru and they're giving me my 10 steps to success. When I go that route. I waste that whole hour. I look up and I've done nothing. I've moved a lot, but I've made no progress. And perhaps that's you. I hope this is making sense. So that's the real problem. Your mind is overly occupied. You only need one great idea. You, know, you, you only need to execute on one thing. One thing at a time. Mm -hmm. It's better to get one thing accomplished. One thing accomplished in the next hour, in the next week in the next month, in the next year. It's better to get one thing accomplished and really accomplished well, something that you can really hang your hat on rather than working on 10 different things. And in the same amount of time, nothing is actually finished. You're overstimulated. Success requires strategic steps, guys. Carefully designed or planned to serve a particular purpose or advantage. That's why I said I'm here to help you over. Let me get back over here. That's why I said I am here to help you to 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 overmatch, overmatch, right? What's been undermining your success, right? Strategic, military, strategic. You want to get your success. You want to capture your flag, man. Your success requires a strategic step, a strategic approach. Well, where does strategic approaches come from? Where does strategic strategies come from? Where does strategic steps come from? It comes from the depth of silence. It comes from the depths of silence. 
silence to get in tune with you to get in tune with who you are, to get in tune with what you actually believe and feel, the conviction that is within you. But many of us are so stimulated, we're so all over the place, like a like a ball and a ping pong machine, right? We're just boom, 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 boom. We talked to you on Monday. Hey, man, what you into? Yeah, man, I'm into these stocks. Talk to you on Tuesday. Yeah, man, I'm about to start this podcast. Talk to you on Wednesday. Yeah, man, I'm about to go over here and do this. Talk to you on Thursday. Yeah, man, I was thinking about getting this going. Mm. Where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? Where's all that cl- where, where's all that clutter coming from? Right? That that's a question. Where is all that clutter coming from? Monday, you want to start stocks. Tuesday, you want to start a podcast. Wednesday, you want to start a, a restaurant. Thursday, right? You want to get into Bitcoins Friday, right? You want to you want to start a ministry Saturday, you want to feed the homeless Sunday, right? You you want to go serve at the soup kitchen. I mean, come on, guys. Where is that coming from? Why are you all over the place? Why aren't you stable? Why aren't you consistent? Why aren't you following a path? Why why are you always deviating? Why, why, why does it feel like your life is on a constant detour? Never steady, always detouring, always on the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Yeah, I heard so-and-so is hot. I'm going I'm to get into that. Man, I heard so-and-so that, man, you can make a lot of money in this. I'm about to get over it. Where is that coming from? You're overstimulated. You're letting society stimulate you out of your success. That's fire. I ain't playing for that. That's fire right there. That's the Lord Jesus. I'm going to get that to I'm going to get that to God. Boy, them 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 nuggets, them nuggets, them jewels. That's fire right there, baby. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Oh, man, let that one burn you. We're letting society stimulate us out of our success. Hmm. That's a mic drop. Yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That's a mic drop. All glory to God. So, guys, we got to stop letting society stimulate us out of our success. Well, how do we do that? Here, here, here it is. (laughs) Okay, you ready? Here it is. We finally got to it. This is what we do. Super, super Simple. Understanding two things and then putting five practices together. Here it is. Number one, understanding the difference between reactions and responses. When we are letting society stimulate us out of our success, we're reactionary. Mm -hmm. We are living a reality of reaction. Excuse me. A reaction is instant is driven by the beliefs, the biases, and the, pre- and the prejudices of the unconscious mind. When you say or do something without thinking, that's the unconscious mind running the show. A reaction is based in the moment, get this, and does not take into consideration long-term effects of what you say or do. You're reacting. Why are you reacting? Because you're overstimulated. Just like I was in the gym. I don't know what the heck to do. I'm just I'm just reacting. I'm just a pinball machine. I'm just all over the place. Bing, 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 bing. Head feel like it's about to explode because I'm too jacked up. I'm too hype on this stuff. These stimulants is running through my blood, man. I'm just I'm just all, all over the place. Well, in business, you got stimulants running all through your through your business blood, right through the blood of your business. You feel me? And you're just reacting to things. The latest, greatest, the latest, greatest, the latest, greatest. You're just reacting. You're not responding to what God's created you for. You're not responding to 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 what to what you were sent to this world to do. Now, check this out. We can either be influenced into reactions or we can do our inner work. We can get inside ourselves And then we can live through our responses. Check out the difference. A response, on the other hand, usually comes more slowly. Mm -hmm. 
It's based on information from both the conscious mind and unconscious mind. A response will be more, right, ecological, ecological. That's a new word for me. OK, meaning, <laughs> right, meaning that it takes into consideration the well-being of not only you. See, this is strategic. I'm going to consider not only myself, but those around you. It weighs. Ah, it weighs the long term effects and stays in line with your core values. Guys, if it weighs it, it's strategic. If it's considering it, it's, it's, it's going to be strategic. But here's the dopest part about this all. Response deals with your core values. How do you know your core values if you never sit down? How do you know your core values if you never shut up? How do you know your core values if you never get still, if you never get silent? How do you know your core values? See, here's the real solution. Clear the clutter. The clutter of your mind. The clutter of your brain. And here's how, guys. Here's how. Stop moving in all of its forms, physically, mentally, emotionally. Stop moving. Slow down for a moment. Get up early. Get up 15 minutes early and meditate. Get up 15 minutes early and don't cut nothing on. Leave your phone on the shelf or on the on the bedside whatever you you know leave everything alone just get up wash your face brush your teeth and go sit down somewhere in silence stop moving here's the other thing shut up stop talking stop decreeing and declaring stop stop you know confessing you know your 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 affirmations i mean literally stop stop talking about your dreams and everything just for a moment i'm not saying don't do it every day i mean heck we started off with confessing what we want to create i'm not saying that confessions and affirmations and prayers and declarations are not good and not healthy but there is a time where even those things because they're so habitual, because they're so automatic, because they're so autopilot, even those things need to be cut off for a minute. Yeah. Don't be scared of the silence, man. Don't be scared of the silence. Don't be scared of that, of that, of that blank slate. Okay. Amazing things await. A real, um, a real fortified strategy awaits you in that silence. So stop moving. Shut up for a minute and sit down. Literally just sit your butt down. Stop moving. Leave the computer off. Leave the phone off. Right? Settle into the silence. You can do that through meditation. You can do that through just getting still and just opening, your, opening yourself up to God and saying, Lord, I'm going to give you the next five minutes. And all I'm going to do is literally sit here and, and allow you to bring to mind that which you desire for me to do. I'm going to just do, do you know how powerful that is? Just five minutes of a blank slate, right? I mean, now, guys, obviously there's a lot that goes into this because we're so stimulated and we're so autopilot um, that, you know, our thoughts are going to run wild and, and we're going to be, you know, kind of fidgety. But listen, practice this. You're not you're not shooting for perfection. You're shooting for the practice of it. The more you practice this, the better you'll get at it. OK, so settle into the silence. Just allow yourself to be without anything, without cutting on the TV. Don't watch nothing. Don't cut your favorite music on. Don't listen to nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't let nobody be around. Like remove yourself from all of the distractions. Detach from the distractions. And now strategize from within yes strategize now from within how do you do that this is how you do that this is what i've done for many many years when i get quiet my 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 internal focus wish desire prayer is simply that i feel what is most congruent what is most in alignment with me what is that what is that guys for so many years i took the traditional path of trying to become a public speaker i'm gonna get 100 with you for many many years guys i took the traditional path of be trying uh, of trying to become a public speaker 
I'm not saying that I'll never step on another stage. I'm not saying that eventually um, that won't be a huge income source for me. But when I began to really go within, when I began to really follow these steps that I'm sharing with you, what really came to me and, and, and the strategy for me and the reason that, that I've been able to be consistent, the reason that I've been able to be consistent, not only in the work that I do, but in the joy that I experience um, and the quality of life that I experience, right, um, is because I understood that my passion, my love, my desire, my joy is communication in and of itself, the art of communication. And then more importantly, I had a God given unction and a God given fire to expose the devil, to expose, you know, those things that are undermining your success, right? Chiefly in my life, right? It's the lack of knowing what your self-worth is, knowing what your self-value is. I saw a lot of people having all the tools, having all of the resources, but they didn't lack any, but they lacked value in themselves. So you can give a person everything that they need, but they don't really value themselves. They'll never really do anything with it. And so that's why for the longest guys, I've been your self-worth specialist, right? Because I understood I need, I need to specialize in the one thing that will put you over the hump. But I understood from this silencing, from this, you know, from this strategizing within is that ultimately I'm a communicator. I'm an educator. I'm a teacher. Will I speak from stages? Sure. Will I do virtual conferences? I've done them. Sure. Will I do, you know, Facebook lives? Sure. Will I do podcast episodes? Sure. Will I do YouTube videos? Sure. Will I teach at the community centers? Sure. Nonprofits? Sure. Will I preach and teach at church? Sure. You see, I'm okay with however it comes. Why? Because I know that I'm a communicator. When I was trying to catch the waves of how to be a public speaker, I was miserable. I was miserable, guys. For years, I was I was trying to be a public speaker and 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 write up my little bio and write up my little, you know, my little press kit and do all these different things and take all these courses and take all these classes. And and the truth is, when I looked around at the most popular and the most famous, the public speakers that I know and love and, and the ones that I was looking up to. None of them, none of them followed those paths. None of them did. You know what they did do? They were simply being themselves. Now, yes, I get it. There's a business side to everything. So they picked up the business tools and they and they executed. I'm not saying that they didn't. What I'm saying is, first and foremost, what got them going, what what made them consistent, what made them initially experience the initial success that then lit the fire to then bring in other resources was being authentic, being congruent, being aligned with what was within. That's the one common thread of every successful, highly successful person. They're not copycats. They're not copycats. They're what you consider originals. They are what you consider trailblazers. They are what you would consider um, first timers, right? They are the people that blaze a trail, man, for other people to follow. And then they eventually go on to be coaches or instructors or trainers in that field or that expertise um you know or you know in that profession because they've accumulated enough failures and successes right losses and wins along the way to compile enough valuable information to then present to somebody else and in in many ways i'm following the same path here's here's my point guys when i got quiet i said podcasting podcasting works I get to cut on a mic and share my heart, share my life, share valuable information on a consistent basis. And nobody can tell me when I can do that. See a stage while it's good and it pays well and I have nothing against it. It's very controlled. There's the, the powers that be the gatekeepers. There's a process to it. You got to wait to get the gig. You got to wait for the event. And yo, all of that's fine and dandy. 
I'm going to do all of that and more. That's cool. That's fine. But in the meantime, ah, this podcasting thing, hmm, I can do this when I feel like it. As much as I want, as little as I want, how often. And no one can control my content. I can simply cut this thing on and be me. And that brings me a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of satisfaction. I love to do it. It's a joy. It's a pleasure. It's not work at all. And my quality of life. I'm a better person. I'm a better husband, a, a better father, because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not miserable. I'm not secretly miserable, secretly trying to keep up with anybody else. I get to simply be me. And if that's what you're looking for when it comes to success, guys, then please, oh, please, oh, please follow these five steps. As I close again, stop moving. Shut up. Sit down. Settle into the silence. Strategize from within. Simply allow yourself to feel what makes the most sense to you. And don't question it. Because right now, for a lot of you, you'll do this and you know, you got 10 different, 10 different things that you got going on, right? Jack of all trades, master of none. You got 10 different things going on and you want to do all 10. Good. I get it. Yeah. But what's the one thing that resonates the most? What's the one thing that you can't get away from? What's the one thing that you do as they, you know, as they say that you don't have to get paid for, you don't have to, you know, no one has to give you, you know, applause, you know, accolades. No one has to pat you on the back. You just do it for the love of doing it. And then eventually over time, you'll learn to monetize it. You'll learn to get paid for it. But even, even, but but right now, what we need to do is to come off that stimuli, to come off that stimulated state, get settled in to the specific success that you desire for your life. Tune into that and get consistent around that all right hope that makes sense all right guys we are about the hour and we are wrapping it up as always your support matters to me uh guys apple podcast please subscribe and download leave a review if you will you know i'm on the youtube if you're not watching on the tube then why are you not why are you not watching on the tube? Yes, I'm trying to grow the tube. I'm not trying. I am. I'm growing my, my tube steadily. If you're not subscribed, if you're not a part of the Notification Nation, head over to YouTube. Type in I Am The Possible. Type in Travel C.W. Lynch. You will find me there. Go ahead and hit that little bell. Well, first hit the subscription, then hit that bell. Join that Notification Nation so that you can get all the latest, greatest information, motivation, inspiration, edification that I drop each and every week. And then please tell somebody about this. Share, share, share. Tell somebody. Tag somebody. DM somebody. Email somebody. Text message somebody. Walk over and knock on somebody's door and tell them, listen. There's something going on called the I Am The Possible podcast, and you need to know about it. All right. All right, guys, that is it. Wrapping it up. I love you guys. I am praying for you guys. I am believing in you guys. Have an amazing week. Implement these strategies, guys. See some great results in your life. I'm looking forward to it. This is Travel C.W. Lynch, Mr. What What, your self-worth specialist, and now your personal perspective coach, coaching from the couch, baby. I am here to help you to overmatch what's been undermining, hmm, undermining your success. Love you guys. Pray for you guys. Believe in, in you guys. This is the truth. Well. This ain't the travail. It's the I am the possible podcast experience. I love it. That's why I love podcasting because you can totally screw it up and just keep rolling. This is the I am the possible podcast experience, the place where possibilities become perspective. Until next time, peace.